We observed a lot of animals during the 2017 eclipse. One of the animals we watched was the Komodo dragon. In general, a Komodo dragon sits still for almost all hours of the day. And just in those couple minutes during the eclipse, it started running around and had a reaction. Animal behavior is only actually a small part of the research we do. Mostly we study skulls and we do dissections of animals. But there was just this amazing opportunity where we were in 2017 in South Carolina, the Riverbank Zoo, to see these animals and in this interesting phenomenon. And I think I basically became hooked. Some of the animals behaved as if evening had come, so they went into their nighttime routine. Some of the animals made strange calls, the siamangs. They made a type of vocalization that we had never heard before. This time around, we're gonna look at some of the same types of animals. Texas is the first place in the United States that the eclipse will be passing through. There are other really exciting places that these types of observations could be done. I'd like to see our research expanded into different species and see if gorillas react this way, how do orangutans react and how do bonobos react? The flamingos all gathered around their chicks during the eclipse, like they were trying to protect the chicks. It would be really interesting to see if other flamingos do that or if other flocking birds do the same type of behavior. In any given part of the world, a total eclipse occurs once every almost 400 years. Essentially everything we know about animal behavior during the eclipse could reasonably be regarded as anecdotal because there's so little information about it. But the only way that we can confirm this stuff is to take every opportunity that we can to go out and, and witness it ourselves. It's my sincere hope that other scientists will eventually join along.